Hi, I'm Dr. Gabrielle Muro. I'm a plastic surgeon in Atlanta, Georgia, and I want to talk about labiaplasty with you. Labiaplasty is a procedure designed to help women improve the excess labia minora, which is the inner lips, but also the labia majora, because over time, sometimes the labia majora also lose volume and become very thin and flat. And that changes the proportion between the labia minora and majora. So what we want to do is to improve function and also aesthetics. Many women come to me and they refer that they have this excess dangling tissue in the labia minora that increased over time. Also, it's very common to have asymmetry, so one side much larger than the other. And then they have pinching with clothing. Uh, when they have a bait, we use a bathing suit, they feel uncomfortable because there's too much tissue in the area or sometimes it needs a little bit of volume on, on the labia majora around it, just to make this proportion a little better. So when we do a labiaplasty, we treat only the excess tissue in the labia minor, minora. And if there is excess tissue around the clitoris, which is called the clitoral hood, we also trim that a little bit. That can be done under local anesthesia, awake or just with a light sedation but also under general anesthesia, where the patient sleeps and doesn't see, doesn't feel anything at all, and then wakes up and everything is ready. Labiaplasty does have about a two week recovery. There are sutures which are all absorbable, so the body just dissolves it within the first two weeks. There is quite a bit of swelling and a little bit of bruising, so we recommend ice packings in the area for about a week. And also we have uh, several medications to help improve the swelling and the bruising and the discomfort that may appear. We're all different, so some women may feel it more, more than others, but we do start medication even the night before surgery to really make the whole process very easy to go through. We will follow you closely over the, during the period, uh, the healing time and during all the post-op uh, course to just make sure everything heals properly. Important to know that for a labiaplasty, we recommend no sex for about six weeks after surgery. Also no riding bikes, like a lot of women do Peloton these days, and we would recommend uh, four to six weeks without a Peloton bike, so it wouldn't cause extra pressure in the area, so we don't have any open wounds or excessive swelling afterwards. Also, uh, some women uh, do exercising like a, a horseback riding and things like that. So we also would not do that for six weeks, but it's a very, very high impact procedure. The uh, women really feel very, very grateful for having done this if the, it's bothering them. So I would recommend that you come for a consultation if you think you're a candidate and then we will look at you and decide what is the best technique to use uh, if uh, it's needed to also address instead of just labia minora, also the labia majora. And then we make a sound plan and decide how to proceed either with local anesthesia or general anesthesia. It will be a pleasure to see you and talk to you in the office and uh, my team and I will be looking forward to taking care of you.